What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing an Infernape team made by my friend Chawarzard. Now, this Infernape team may look a bit familiar because it's based on Sableye VGC's Blaziken team, uh, where just in this team, the Infernape is over the Blaziken slot. Infernape has some stuff on Blaziken. It's faster turn one, you don't need to get a speed boost, and it has access to Fake Out, which can be pretty useful. The idea behind this team is you basically you coach your King Gambit or your Rillaboom or your Dragapult and do big damage. Or just do big damage and pivot around with really strong Pokemon. Because we've got Miracle Seed Rillaboom, we've got Mystic Water Primarina, we've got Choice Band Dragapult with Ghost Terra Blast, which is a blast. Assault Vest King Gambit with Low Kick. This one's Terra Flying. I believe Sableye VGC used Terra Fire King Gambit. But I like flying, it's a good defensive Terra. And Electabuzz. Electabuzz has been picking up a lot. It's just bulky with EV Light. It's immune to Spore, and it has Follow Me. It's a lot like an Ogre Pond that can't do offense. Uh, we've gotten used to using Ogre Pond. I love using Ogre Pond as my Amoongus answer with Follow Me and being immune to Spore. And Electabuzz kind of fills that role. Uh, but anyways, I'm super excited to play this Infernate team. Let's get into it. All right, we've got a Mousehold, Sneasler, Rillaboom, Corviknight, their own Dragapult, and Incineroar. I don't see what purpose that Mousehold serves if it's not Pop Bomb, so I'm going to assume it's Pop Bomb. But both Dragapult and King Gambit don't really care. King Gambit doesn't really care about much of anything. Uh, if I tear a Fire, which I would be forced to in front of Sneasler, that ain't bad. I really like King Gambit. I'm just going to go with King Gambit and Fernape right away. The biggest problem I could see for King Gambit would be... Uh... Uh... Sneezler, right? We've got Terra... We've got Terra Flying. Okay. Terra Flying's okay, but then we would be a little weak to Mousehold. Uh, we don't have much speed control, so maybe Electabuzz would be good. We've got... Uh, just follow me there. Could also bring... Our own Rillaboom is pretty offensive, but it doesn't hit most of those. Gotta have something for the Sneasler, so I think I need Dragapult. That's good in the Sneasler. The fourth one? I don't really know. For their own Rillaboom, it's pretty good into everything else I have. I'm leaning Electabuzz. It's not weak to Sneasler. It can redirect hits from pretty much anything. I don't know if Pop Bomb would take us out, but... We also have Terra Ghost if needed, but I think I might have to be forced to- Ooh, they've got a good trainer card. Nice. Nice. Love it. Okay. Mouse Hold and Dragapult. Okay. I mean, neither of those really hit King Gambit too hard unless you pull out like a Terra Blast or... Does Mouse Hold get like a low kick? Uh, they might think I'm targeting... The Pult and swap that to Sneasler, maybe? Don't really care. Fernape is fast, but not as fast as Mousehold. Well, I'm gonna Kowtow Cleave somebody. Might as well be the Dragapult slot, and I'm just going to fake out the mouse this turn. Because they could pop bomb into Infernape. They Presumably they're faster if they're max speed. They're going for a Terra right away. Is this just to dodge the fake out and take out Infernape? No, Dragapult is tearing Into Dragon. Okay. You know, that's not so bad. If you're going for, like, Dragon Darts, King Gambit doesn't care too much. I'll get the fake out off. Mousehold was faster than the Dragapult, even. And they outrage into my sash. Fine, thank you. Love it. Was that Dragapult really slow or something? Uh, oh no, they were going for like follow me or something then, right? Must be. Okay, uh, I still need to preserve Terra for King Gambit. They would follow me away a sucker punch. I'm just gonna go for another Kowtow Cleave into Pult. And I guess I should go for coaching. Um, I could also try to close combat the mouse hold. 
if I'm allowed to get it off, I get a double KO. Yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Helping hand. Well, where's this outrage going? Are you gonna take out my one HP? Or are you gonna, oh, okay, they hit King Game. We should take this. Yeah, perfect, double KO. You broke out of just in time to get knocked out. Goodbye, mouse. Sweet dreams. Infernape with a KO. All right, off to a decent start. They've done a lot of damage to King Gambit, who I was trusting could sweep here. But if the back is just Rillaboom, Sneasler, I guess we're fine. Sneasler doesn't threaten Dragapult too much. Unless it has, like, Terra Dark Throat Chop, but they don't have Terra. I guess Throat Chop might just be enough. I'm hoping they have, like, Incineroar. Nah, here's Rillaboom. And it is Sneasler. Okay. They have a Fake Out turn and a Take Out turn. Is it worth saving anything? I could pull back into Electabuzz. I could pull Infernate back to Electabuzz, actually. I think that's probably where the Fake Out would go. It won't do too much to Electabuzz. I could also Terra Flying. I'd be worried about the Fake Out going into King Gambit, though. Did they get a Seed Boost? No, they didn't. Wait a minute. That's unusual. I'm just gonna click Kowtow into, no. I'm gonna click Iron Head into Sneasler, and I'm gonna bring in Electabuzz. I do expect to just get knocked out by, from, for my King Gambit, but I'm confused as to what they're doing, because usually it would be Grassy Seed. They just fake out with the Sneasler, and Grassy Glide into the Infernape, okay. You weren't normal, Gem. I think this Sneasler might just be like Sash or something. So I'm gonna give it an Iron Head. And just follow me whatever it's trying to do. Electabuzz probably goes down to a combo of like Close Combat, Grassy Glide. Uh, Dire Claw, that's fine. You can't roll the sleep on me. Critical Hit. And High Horsepower, okay. That high horsepower might have been into King Gambit, but so I'm glad I redirected it. And if they are Sash, I did not activate it, so they don't have their speed boost. Dragon Darts can take them out now, which is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, looks like we got it. And then if it's Grassly Gelt Glide from Rillaboom, I can't Sucker Punch it. But if I can Sucker Punch the Sneasler, that would be cool. Oh, I guess I could just Terra Flying. Do I want to Terra Dragon the Pult? I think Terra Flying is fine. Terra Flying. And Kowtow the Rillaboom for extra damage. And then Darts should be enough to knock out Sneasler from here. And if they Protect, I just get both into Rillaboom. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good here. And Infernape is still around for a Fake Out or a Fast Hit if we need it. Though Sneasler could, is probably just faster, and Rillaboom has priority, so we might not get a hit off. Yeah, Sneasler is gone. I'm assuming they were Sash then, and since I never procced it, they never got unburdened. Good damage into Rilla. High horsepower whiffs, thank you. <laughs> Tau Tau Cleave doesn't quite finish them off. All right. They've got no win count. I'm just going to click Sucker Punch and Dragon Darts. GG. Okay, maybe their win count is I went for Sucker Punch, they outsped, get a super ultra mega crit onto Dragapult that knocks it out. But no. Uh, maybe they could have been like King's Rock and like Grassy Glide me down and flinch me every time. We never saw their item, but uh, GG. <laughs> It all worked out, and Infernape did something. And you've got a great trainer card. Okay, we're fighting a Dragapult, Sneasler, Porygon 2, Incineroar, Ursaluna, but not the Ursaluna that's usually paired with those, uh, and Amoongus. Did I say Amoongus? Amoongus. 
All right, uh, I love King Gambit, or rather I would if it wasn't for Ursa Luna. I mean, Sneasel is annoying too. Uh, I think the most annoying thing is Amoongus. We have Electabuzz for that. We have Taunt Electabuzz, which is great into Trick Room in general. They're probably going to want to Fake Out, but they couldn't Fake Out. I mean, if they leave Fake Out, they proc King Gambit's Defiant. So I don't hate Defiant. Gonna bring Infernape, of course. Just the Sash alone, plus being able to hit like four of those super effectively. Very nice. And then if they're gonna try to sweep with the Ursa Luna, I think maybe Primarina's the call. Do we have Grass Terra? We do have Grass Terra on Primarina as well. That's pretty good. I would guess. I mean, I could also lead my own fake out lead with King Gambit. That's an option. Put Electabuzz in the back to swap into a Spore. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like, I know I was thinking, it's like, oh, I gotta stop the, uh, I gotta taunt to stop the Trick Room, but that would, I would have to either commit Ghost Terra to block Fake Out, or I would just get Rage Powdered anyway and they would get Trick Room up. I guess I could Fake Out and Taunt turn one. <laughs> Tall Wiglet. Good trainer card. Good one. Okay, Sneasler Amoongus. Okay, so it's a fake out. And a spoke. Fake. No, I don't really understand this. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Um I could get King Gambit out to Electabuzz and just fake something out. I could just coach my King Gambit and Terra it. Do I want to commit Terra onto King Gambit right now? when it could get spored. Maybe. Then I Iron Head at plus one. I don't know. I don't know if, the, I don't know if this is the right play. They're not Terrastalizing Sneasler. I'm just Terrastalizing my King Gambit to avoid a close combat right away. This is just a weird lead. I did not expect Sneasler Amoongus. <laughs> I was thinking Amoongus P2 or a Sneasler P2. They fake out my Infernape, okay. And they have Poison Touch, fine. Infernape doesn't really mind too much. Especially because it's now immune to Spore. It's a weird combo. And here's an Iron Head, get me a status. Spore, but it fails, thank you for having Poison Touch. Why did you Poison Touch into something that you were gonna Spore? Okay, that's funny. Now they would probably Dire Claw slash Spore into King Gambit, so I'm gonna go into Electabuzz. I would guess... Yeah, I'm gonna go into Electabuzz, keep it, just to keep King Gambit safe. Who should I hit? I'm not worried about Amoongus once Electabuzz comes in, so I'm gonna Flare Blitz the Sneasler. I might take myself out be between Recoil and Poison, but that's not too bad. If I can get Sneasler down, I assume there's Sash though. I can Sucker Punch them later, I guess. Yeah, Amoongus just swaps. Into Incineroar. Oh, you were going to give me a boost? Dang. Well, Intimidated Flare Blitz, maybe I don't even knock my own Infernape out now. Another poison touch. This thing's crazy. Alright, minus one flare blitz. It's a two shot on Sneasler. But we are slower. And they can fake us out next turn. Alright, I really need Sneasler gone. I think I'm gonna Thunderbolt it and Flare Blitz it. You can't fake us both out, Ensign. I want that thing out of here. It's too annoying. It, uh, it's only been rolling poisons, but it could uh, could be doing worse. Oh, Incineroar just swaps. Okay. Back into Amoongus. That's fine. Close combat Electabuzz. 
Doesn't take out Electabuzz, but we'll, we'll go down to the poison now. Are both of my Mons gonna go down is my question. And after, now that I lose Electabuzz, actually Amoongus is really scary. Yeah, we're both gonna go down to poison. Can I get a Paralysis on this Amoongus? Otherwise I don't think I can win this. These are my uh, Amoongus answers on the field right now. Oh, Infernape sticks around. Okay, we're gonna preserve him. I think Incineroar comes in, so I'm gonna bring in King Gambit. Should I bring in Prim? King Gambit gets a plus one. They probably go for a fake out into Infernape. Yeah, I'm gonna go into King Gambit. Yeah, it is their Incineroar. Okay, cool. I can preserve my Infernape for one more hit later. And I feel like Primarina can switch in here pretty safely. They wouldn't spore the Infernape slot. I guess they could. They would probably spore the King Gambit slot. The question is whether they fake out Infernape or if they read this and fake out King Gambit. We'll see. I wonder if I preserve my Infernape for a coaching later. It's only ever going to get one more hit off, and it can't swap in hard. Here's a Terra. Okay. Terra? On who? Water Amoongus. That must be a fake out into King Gambit and a spore into King Gambit then. They're just going to let Infernape go down naturally. Good play. Good play. And then if I like went for a minus two Flare Blitz into you, you it's fine. Okay. Well, Incineroar can't Terrastalize. That's good. But who can it swap into? Porygon 2, Dragapult, Ursaluna. Well, I'm going to burn my first turn of sleep here. Doesn't matter what I click. I think I want to just go for Hyper Voice. Oh, I Mystic Water? Cool. I don't wish I was Safety Goggles. Um, doesn't matter what King Gambit does. I think I'll j I think I'm happy to click Hyper Voice. If Incense stays on the field, I get big damage into it. Yeah, that's great. And then, you better have something that can deal, de deal damage in the back, because these two cannot. Just a knockoff into King Gambit? Okay. And then you spore my prim. Sludge bomb my prim. And get the poison. Well, Primarina can't go to sleep now, so that's good. Incineroar is not safe. And King Gambit's gonna wake up eventually. Kowtow cleave. Um, I will Kowtow cleave into the incense slot. I assume Primarina's faster. Yeah. Just in case it's Dragapult in the back and it comes in for Incineroar. But no. Alright, well, King Gambit, now would be a great time to wake up. Because they're probably just going to Sludge Bomb Primarina again. Nah, you don't wake up. Does Primarina go down? Yeah. Okay. 2v2. For now. I can choose to either get a fake out turn, send a close combat, maybe a flare blitz. I do have Ursa Luna left. Did they have Tailwind? No, they're probably slow. They could be slower than me. They should double protect if they have the ability. Which means I should kowtow cleave the Amoongus and coaching. They didn't protect anything. Oh, I'm so scared. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I need to be faster. And I also need to wake up! No! Three turns! And it's just a blood moon. I was faster. But the Blood Moon seals it. GG. Ah. Oh.
Man, so much status in this game. And Amoongus is just gonna finish off my Infernape. Nope, they're gonna spore. Okay. In case I in case I clicked fake out and woke up, that's what they were they were just doubling into King Gambit there. If I had faked out, I would have had another turn then King Gambit would have just got rage powdered and blood mooned, yeah. It wouldn't have done anything. GG. Alright, we've got ooh, very cool team. Garchomp, Gyarados, Tyranitar, Dragonite. Metagross, Sinistra, so many pseudo legendaries. Okay, how do I beat that? Oh, uh, they do have an Intimidate, which King Gambit loves. Dragapult can hit two of their dragons. Actually, Terra Ghost seems. Are we Terra Ghost? Yeah, we're Terra Ghost, Terra Blast. That's good into everything that isn't Tyranitar, and Infernape is good into Tyranitar. So actually, I wonder if it's those two. I don't hate it. They can't intimidate us. And then for Tyranitar, we've got, I mean, King Gambit with Low Kick seems nice as well. Does Sinistra cause any problems? Not really. Does Garchomp cause problems? A tiny bit. We've got a couple ground weaknesses. I could bring Rillaboom for that. Not really too worried about Metagross. Not really too worried about Dragonite. Hyper Voice doesn't do a ton to anything. Moonblast is pretty cool. Electabuzz follow me? No, I don't think I want more ground weaknesses. Uh, it's either Rillaboom or Prim. I think I'm leaning Rillaboom. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, I do fear that there might be like a weakness policy Metagross thing going on somewhere here. But they just got cool mons with big stat numbers, so. Let's just throw big stat number Pokemon at each other and see what sticks. Oh, but like, trainer card, please. 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 Okay, at least they changed their look. Garchomp Gyarados. Classic. Do I want a lot? I don't think I want a lot Dragon Darts. I think I want to lock into like Phant uh, Phantom Force, maybe Terra Blast. Just start Terra Blasting stuff. I could fake out Terra Blast. I could Terra Blast into Coaching. Yeah, I think I'll fake out Gyarados. Terra Ghost. Terra Blast the Garchomp. Because they're probably going to Terrastalize in the face of Darts. And then they shouldn't be able to KO me in return. And then I should be able to finish them off with Infernape. And then switch targets over to Gyarados, start working on that. They did not Terrastalize. Or protect or swap out. They just. They're just letting me hit this thing. I could use a Dragon move. Oh well. That's big damage, wow. And it's just an earthquake. Alright, well, nothing's gonna go down to this. Alright, I can weaken the next Earthquake by going into Rillaboom and send my Terra Blast to the Gyarados. I also suspect they might protect Garchomp, which is part of why I want to make that play. Then I get a Fake Out for later, I get a Fake Out next turn, I've got a Grassy Glide that can take out Garchomp. I guess, like, Gyarados just should live this, and then just knocks out my Dragapult, or Dragon Dances or something. Yeah, Garchomp swaps. Cool. So I went after the right target, which is Tyranitar. Oh, they're gonna go Tyranitar try to break my Sash. Got it. Alright, how much does this do to a Gyarados? All of it! Okay, bye! <laughs> Didn't expect that. But I will take it. Dragapult going crazy here. Okay, sand goes before grass, which means if I bring Infernape in with the sand and grass, it will go down. Dragonite. Well, okay. You 
can't extreme speed my Dragapult. I kind of have a free fake out into Tyranitar. I'm probably going to Terrasilize Dragonite into normal, though. So Terra Blast doesn't do anything. So actually, I think I want to... No, I still want to fake out the Tyranitar. But I'm happy to bring in King Gambit now. Because I think the Dragonite's going to be like Terra Normal and lock into E-Speed, which doesn't do anything to King Gambit. And then I have two things that threaten Tyranitar if it doesn't Terra. There's... No, they didn't Terra? I could have just hit the Dragonite. Okay. They've got Wing Attack for my Rillaboom, which we barely survive. And Dragonite's faster than Rilla. Okay, got it. Great. Wing attack. And you're faster. Well, I can't swap anything into a wing attack, so Rillaboom's gone. I guess I will Grassy Glide Tyranitar. plus Iron Head. That way if they swap into Garchomp, I take them out and the Iron Head shifts over. If they Terrastalize, committing Grassy Glide and Low Kick is bad. But this combo should be able to take out Tyranitar if they don't Terra. Ooh, it almost took it out anyway. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> they switched to Fire Punch? You have Fire Punch now? But we're faster than Tyranitar. Thank goodness. Wow. Okay. This Dragon Knight's just pulling out all the moves. Wing Attack, Fire Punch. Not Choice Band. And they still haven't shown me their Terra. But Dragapult with Dragon Darts in the back should be able to clean up, right? I can just Sucker Punch with the Guard Chomp slot. Keep that locked down. Uh, unless I miss. Good point, good point. Unless I miss. <laughs> so let's Grassy Glide and Sucker Punch. Grassy Glide. Missed. Okay, I'm glad I doubled. Sucker Punch connects. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Don't do me like this, Sandvale. I would have loved to get a free set. Oh, and there's a low roll, high roll? No, just a crit. Okay, so you dodge a move, and then you crit. Okay. It's fine. Is this sand done yet? Tyranitar, hard switched in, got flinched, got knocked out. This, so this is like four. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just go Dragapult now. Unless they're like Terra Fairy Dragonite, I can just lock Outrage. Do I have Outrage? No, I have, I just have Dragon Darts. That's fine too. If they Terrastalize, I see Terrain and Sandstorm end this turn. Okay. If they Terrastalize, Woodhammer is going to hurt. If they don't, Dragon Darts is going to hurt. If they Terra Fairy and Extreme Speed into my Rillaboom, I lose. On the spot. But they're Terra Normal, that's okay. Dragon Darts plus Woodhammer should be funny. Yeah, they were hoping I went for a Ghost move here. But Terra Normal is way more common than Terra Fairy. But I was ready for anything. This was a weird Dragonite. Ooh, that might be enough. Got him. Let's go. Infernape doesn't even have to come back out. Goodbye, Dragonite. That was a cool team you got there. I don't like the whole Sand Veil thing. That Dragonite's goofy. Probably a Salt Vest. But GG. Definitely brought some cool stuff. Go get a trainer card. All right, we've got a Blaziken v Infernape game. Let's go. They've also got Magnezone, which you never see. Amoongus, Glamora, Annihilate, Mousehold. Okay. Firefighting starter versus firefighting starter. No one invited Embor. To be fair, he doesn't get invited much. Uh, what is my plan against Mouse Ape? I know there is one. I just don't 
remember. It must be I it must be Electabuzz. So hold on. It's not an Infernape on lead. It's Electabuzz to redirect, beat up, and spore. Yeah, Electabuzz is just good here. Electabuzz and Pult can't lock into a ghost move because of mouse hold. Primarina isn't bad. King Gambit would definitely be afraid of like beat up mouse hold, taking out Electabuzz, and then a fighting move from Ape. I guess I could just start throwing Dragon Darts around left and right, but that would put Toxic Spikes down. So I guess it's Primarina. Infernape. If I get rid of Mousehold, Dragapult's really good. This is an awkward four. This is a really awkward four that I'm bringing here. I don't know about this. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I also have Grass Terra. Ooh, no trainer card. I also have Grass Terra on Primarina in case Amoongus does stuff. So I think this is a fair lead. Glamora plus Mousehold. I don't know what your plan is, and I'm scared. I could double protect, that would waste a Meteor Beam potentially, that would show me the set on Mouse Hold, that would potentially burn Terra. The only thing they could get me on is self beat up to put two layers of Toxic Spikes down, which would be really annoying, but... I need to know. Okay, we, we see the Terra turn one. I assume it's Grass on Glamora. It's Flying on Glamora. Good to know! Would you like to be Thunderbolted? And it's Helping Hand now, so okay, so I don't think it has Pop Bomb. Are they gonna burn a Meteor Beam though? That would be fantastic. Get them to waste Meteor Beam here. I would love that. Uh, it's just Earth Power. Okay. You've got Earth Power. I don't really have a good switch into that. But I'm going to Thunderbolt you and Hyper Voice, right? How fast is this Electabuzz? 130? Ah! Gamora might just be faster. But depending on their investment, they might not be able to KO me anyway. So yeah, I like Thunderbolt Hyper Voice. Helping Hand boosted Earth Power is gonna hurt a lot. Oh, they went for the Meteor Beam. That's gonna hurt even more. I don't think Pre Marina takes that. If that's who they went after. Uh, looks like it's an Electabuzz though. Who does not take that? Yeah. Okay. Figured. Decent damage there. Okay. I could Infernape to try to take out Mouse Hold. And then single target move the Glamora. I could just pull Dragon Darts. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull Dragon Darts Protect. They have Earth Power Meteor Beam, probably Sludge Bomb. I'm just gonna click Dragon Darts and Protect. I don't think they have anything super scary into Dragapult. And if you Protect, yeah, then both of the Darts go into Mouse Hold. If you Protect both, then next turn I get to hit you both. But that means Primarina is scared. Uh, if I swap Primarina out, would they go for follow me here? It's definitely a sludge bomb into my Primarina. I think I could swap Infernape there and just throw Dragon Darts. If they follow me, I take out Mouse Hold.
man, it's a tough call. I'm gonna bring in Infernape. He's got the Sash. Put him in Blaze range, get him powered up. Mousehold just swaps. Okay, you no longer have Friend Guard. I wonder if I can knock you out now. Because I didn't think Dragon Darts would do it with Mousehold on the field, but now it might. Decent damage into Ape. No, so close. Ah, oh, that would have been huge. That would have been absolutely enormous. Sludge Bomb into Infernape. As long as we don't get poisoned, crit is fine. And we do not get poisoned. Perfect. I will Dragon Darts. If you protect Glamora, you probably should protect Glamora. And what with Annihilate, though? Is there a chance you're choice? Do I want to use my Flare Blitz now? Or do I want to go for a coaching? It wouldn't be a double protect. Yeah, there's no there's no reason for them to double protect. I need to use my Flare Blitz on Annihilate now. But if they spiky shield, if Dragon Darts takes out an uh, the Annihilate, I don't use my Flare Blitz into the... Oh, they double protected. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. Yeah, because, well, I get the spiky shield. That would be a free KO on Infernape if I went after it. But yeah, now I just get to Dragon Darts. Glamora goes down. And I have no choice but to use my Infernape to take out Annihilate because they're not going to protect here. Uh, but they swap. That's smart. Saving their ape for later. They're going to lose mouse hold, but they'll have ape and something else. Ah. Would have been great to just take out the mouse hold there. Things living on red. If I had Dragon Terra in this game, this would have been so good. Could I have read this and gone for the coaching? Yes. But then if I get Rage Fisted into Dragapult, I just lose immediately. So I come out with a Toxic to Primarina. They have most of an Infernape. And what else did they have? If they have like a Fairy type, I could be in a lot of trouble. Though if they have a Fairy type, I get both hits into Annihilate. And they don't have Friend Guard active anymore. I don't know, this could be close. Really depends on what they got. And we have Terra, but they don't. That could probably not help us at all. But we'll see. Uh, Blaze again. Um, yeah, Terra doesn't help us at all. You should protect both. And what I can do about that is nothing. All I can do with Dragapult is Dragon Darts. I am locked. My Primarina can choose to protect, or it can choose to Hyper Voice. If they protect Blaziken, there's a chance I knock out Ape with darts. If they double protect, which is what they should do, no big deal. So yeah, I'm just going to click Hyper Voice with Primarina. After one darts, I think Annihilate would be in that range, unless they're like Citrus Berry. Yeah, Blaziken, down below half. Annihilate, down to red. Brave Bird into Primarina. Well, you can only hit one of us now. And Hyper Voice is going to get the double KO! Unless they're like, Shell Bell Annihilate. And heal all the way back up. Nope. Let's go Primarina! Saving the day. Whew, okay. That was, that was close, so oh, wow. Brave Bird Blaziken, that's cool. I thought you couldn't hit me at all, but you showed me. Well, GG. And go get a trainer card. And we are back. 
Infernape definitely showed up to those battles. He was there, on the field, every time. Uh, thank you so much to Warzard for making this, and thank you also Sableye VGC for making the original team this is based on. I had a blast. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.